half hour, I will bring you on a musical journey highlighting some of the unique aspects of the Lee Mufflin collection. Over the summer, I had the great honour of researching this incredible collection as part of the Irish Traditional Music Archive series, Drawing from the Well. The material in this programme has been curated to show some of the highlights from the personal collection of one of Ireland's most iconic Illum pipers, Liam O'Flynn. It also aims to capture the journey it brought me on. To begin, I chat to Liam O'Connor, director of the Irish Traditional Music Archive and renowned fiddle player. Louise, very welcome here. It's brilliant to have you in and to look Thanks at the Liam O'Flynn collection. Um, it's such an amazing collection and I think there's, there's just so much within us that it, it gives a whole mm -hmm. the whole scope of his musical life and, and uh, can't wait to see what you're un unearthing and, and thanks so much well really it. it's been an incredible opportunity and I'd like to thank Itma and yourself for having me here uh, to look through the collection in its entirety and I suppose what a testament to Liam O'Flynn's legacy to have this incredible resource um, here in the Irish Traditional Music Archive but like you said there's a huge scope uh, and huge uh, range of material in the collection and that has been incredibly inspirational uh, over the last while looking through the collection um, but I suppose little did we think as teenagers um, back at the Willie Clancy Summer School or you know our families uh, socialising together at those festivals that we'll be here in the Irish Traditional Music Archive talking about Liam O'Flynn's legacy and looking through the material and the vast audio visuals, photographs and different notations that he's made in the collection. It really seemed that he was preparing this for, you know, this was his, a big part of his legacy that was handed over to the likes of yourself you know mm -hmm. and it's very much Piper focused, but art is philosophy of music and art. It's brilliant now to have you in to, because it takes, I think it really, t it's prepared by Liam, mm -hmm. um, almost like an art, uh, he's archived in his own life and his own music, and it awaits the likes of you to, to close off that circle mm -hmm. and uh, to renew that tradition, which was so important to him. So I know you, you met Liam as well and we're, we're at his concerts and workshops. And That's right. Yeah. And I suppose like your dad, my dad spent time in Dublin in the 60s and he would have socialised with Liam and played with him at that time. So it's lovely to have that family connection with him as well. Uh, but when I started playing the pipes at 13, I took up master classes at the at Nipibriolin. And one, on one of those days, it was 98, I think was the year, Liam O'Flynn was in giving a master workshop. Um, and as you mentioned, incredibly encouraging um, and inspiring on that day and very warm in the mm. classroom and gave great tips and great advice. Um, and I remember the two tunes that we did. It was the Pleasures of Hope and the oh, Humours of Carrie Geholt. Yeah. And actually in the collection, those tunes are mentioned on numerous occasions yeah. as well. Well, um, but great memories. I still have the recordings from that from that workshop. As we mentioned, he's left an incredible legacy both here at the Irish Traditional Music mm. Archive with the Liam O'Flynn collection, but he also left a legacy of instruments. Um, and if he really and uh, I was very fortunate that they gave me his B set of pipes to play and I haven't stopped playing them yeah. since. There's something incredibly medicinal uh, about them and you know, uh, you feel mm. emotional uh, spirit nearly behind you. And especially I experienced that when I strap on the set of B pipes. Um, but they're an incredibly beautiful instrument. Um, so it's lovely now for me as a musician, as a piper to connect with the collection. Mm. Um, and to connect with the, the instrument um, and I suppose the last while it's been a real unique journey and little did I think when I was uh, in the class of seven or eight students at yeah. the Peabreal and that we would be in this situation or setting yeah, fortunate yeah. Yeah. and inspiring lucky ones, yeah. uh, very lucky ones <laughs> yeah. um, but it really has been really inspiring over the last you know, two weeks looking through the collection
Well, there are many fascinating and inspiring aspects of the Limofilin collection and captivating on many levels. But one folder which really stands out in the collection is a folder called Notes and Notions. And in this folder, we see Liam collating his ideas, his inspirations, his ideologies and his vision of Irish traditional music in the folder. And each page, each postcard, each nugget of information is inspiring on multiple levels. We really get a sense of Liam O'Flynn as a musician, as a piper, as a person, as a human being, as a professional. And we get a unique insight into his vision of the tradition and of Irish music and of course of Ilham piping. So just for example, uh, the first little postcard I have here is a quotation, uh, a handwritten note from Liam O'Flynn about Willie Clancy. And I'll just read a little excerpt from it. It says, hearing Willie Clancy for the first time, it gave me feelings I never experienced before. And I think I then realised that music is not something you listen to, but is something you experience. Feelings that stir the soul, music making that reflects the soul. And a beautiful excerpt, a beautiful quotation on Willie Clancy and really on things that are incredibly important in Irish traditional music. The soul of the music, the beauty of the music and the understanding of the music. Moving on from there, we see other pipers, iconic figures in piping mentioned in the collection. Another piper mentioned, of course, is Leo Rousam from 1903 to 1970. But of course, Leo Rousam was a huge influence on Limo Flynn's uh, piping and of course his uh, original teacher. But he says he's the third generation of an unbroken line of Ilham pipers. And he goes on to mention about uh, Leo Rousam's career, but he also breaks it down into sections. So he, he mentions uh, Leo Rousam as a teacher, as a player, as a performer, and we see Leo as pipe maker. So again, we see great consideration uh, to the musicians, to those iconic figures in piping and in Irish traditional music. <laughs> His sheer pride and joy in, in his music making, the complete master of his instrument, his unmistakable sound, pipes and piping like they had never been heard before. So really great consideration is given to uh, Leo's piping, Leo's, Leo as a teacher, and again reflection on Leo as a pipe maker. His own pipes, an object of fascination and wonder and veneration for other pipes, pipers and audiences, etc. He had a magical ability as a maker which never had been matched. And he goes on, he says that Leo was a sort of unique genius whose influence had entered into the lives of Ilham pipers and in particular music fans in general. So really establishing Leo Rousam as that key figure in his piping career. So I'm just looking through uh, the giant at my shoulder as what Limo Flynn references Seamus Innes as and this page here documents uh, Limo Flynn's recollections of Seamus Innes but also key facts and key dates relating to his meeting with Seamus Innes and he says uh, his first real exposure to Seamus Innes was at the NPU to Knoll in 1968 and he references an all night session etc and I can just imagine the fun and the tunes that were had at that particular session. Uh, but he goes on to document his first meeting of Seamus Ennis in Prosperous in County Kildare in 1970. And uh, Seamus arrived and there was just a great evening's music. But uh, what I remember most from that evening was uh, Seamus saying to me, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're coming along well, you have a lot to learn. And but he said, if you're interested, uh, I'll teach you all I know and I'll give you any help that I can give you. Another interesting fact in this documentation here is that 
Liam references Mount Street, which is in very close proximity to the Irish Traditional Music Archive. And he says that Mount Street was where we set him up in his own room. So one of the first uh, accommodations that Liam had in Dublin as well. And he goes on to document other apartments, other uh, accommodations that they would have uh, rented, and that included Pembroke Road and Terra Newer. His piping made a huge impression and impact on me. And it's interesting that there was never any formal uh, tuition uh, situation uh, between the two of us. I was just absorbing uh, the piping and uh, what went into it. His slow air playing, uh, when I first heard it, I mean, I was astounded. It was just a revelation to me. I used to try and figure out what it was about it uh, that was, for me, so extraordinary. And of course, then we got, I got to, to asking about it, the slow airs and his playing of them. And, uh, you know, he drew me into that world and pointed out to me that, you know, how important it was that uh, one knew something, at least, about the background. You know, knew at least one verse of uh, the songs that uh, went to, 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 with the, the tunes. Easter Snow is the name of the townland in County Roscommon. And uh, I heard the tune again from Seamus Ennis. And uh, Seamus liked the tune so much that uh, he named his home uh, Easter Snow. So I think it's a fair recommendation for the tune, Easter Snow. aspects of the collection. We see um, notation uh, of certain friends um, and colleagues and really that warmth as a person um, and his character coming through within the collection. And I think it's incredibly valuable resource for anybody to be able to come in, go on a really inspiring journey with this collection and look at Liam O'Flynn's handwritten notes. So this one is on Seamus Heaney and it says, I felt at ease in his company. I felt trusted and on the same wavelength with him. His poetry had a huge impact on me when I first encountered it and to get to know the man responsible was a privilege and to feel his approval was a precious thing. So again we see that sense of gratitude um, and we see that really uh, how much he valued his colleagues and how much he valued uh, other art forms. So poetry again tying in with the, the language and the music.
found myself on an ongoing journey of discovery, quickly realised how fortunate I was to be part of a tradition and realised that a tradition is something that is hard won. Something that has stood the test of time, etc., is a very secure place for a musician to be. In fact, I think it's true to say that any genuine and original enterprise depends on a tradition. One of the really exciting parts of the collection is discovering some of Liam O'Flynn's uh, original compositions. And within the folder notes and notions, we see some of Liam's beautiful tunes uh, transcribed. And there's a list of them. So we have a number of tunes. We have one called The Sunset, and this was inspired uh, by the breathtaking and magical sunsets over the Atlantic Ocean. Um, also, the number two is The Return of the Pedal Board. And this tune uh, concerns a cantankerous and unpredictable piece of electronic equipment which belongs to the great musician and friend of Liam O'Flynn's, who sadly passed away recently, Artie McGlynn. And on more than one occasion on stage, it has caused great distress and the rest of us great amusement. Uh, so when it went missing after a trip abroad, all seemed safe and well, but unbelievably it reappeared soon after, uh, delivered safely home by a returning musician. Uh, a new tune seemed the only response. We see the, the importance of history uh, to Liam O'Flynn, represented again in another tune called The Piper Stone. He says, County Kildare, my home county, has very strong links with the Ilham piping tradition. Among the notable Ilham pipers from the county were the great John Cash and the famous trainer and piper sporting Captain Kelly, whose pipes were on display until recently in Kelly Castle. The great pipe maker, Morris Coyne, from Carberry in County Kildare. And the tune really, he says, celebrates the links and takes its name from the famous landmark in south of the county, the Piper Stone. And having read this, I'm really looking forward to going out to visit the Piper Stone and really getting a sense uh, of what the tune is all about. Um, and I think that, that that is really important to me to connect back into the source uh, of these compositions. It was a real honour to play one of Liam O'Flynn's compositions, The Piper Stone, at this ancient site in County Kildare, Liam's source of inspiration for the tune. On the day, we were all thrilled that Jane O'Flynn, Liam's wife, accepted our invitation to meet us for a chat at this ancient historical site, The Piper Stone. It was brilliant Jane, you came along, so nice to have we here with Liam's pipes playing Liam's compositions and there to, to introduce the it's, two of you. It's, it's just lovely to be here. It's and, really special oh, for me to, to meet you finally and, yeah, and even more yeah. special that we're here in Liam's beloved yeah. County Kildare you know. And, and listening and, to you oh, playing his pipes. It's a real pipes, pleasure to meet you. It's, uh, on the tune it's, it is, it's one of those unforgettable moments. It's a huge honour for me is. to have the pipes. He'd be very proud, wouldn't he? I think so. If he could, yeah. if he could see us here now. It's a beautiful tune. It's, it's really gorgeous. Yeah. His composing, God, they, they, there's some wonderful, and some of them are really sad kind of yeah. tunes as well. They're just lovely. They're beautiful, and there's such soul in them. Yeah, there it's is. Gorgeous. Yes, that's exactly Isn't the word. 
That is exactly the word. Mm. So it seems to be adept to them as well. Mm -hmm. Some part through as well, his own musicality, of course, uh, primarily, but informed by history and tradition mm -hmm. and, and oh, mythology, or place names and this. And yeah. 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 He, was, he was a real deep man in that if he was going to do a tune on the pipe of stone, he'd do all the, all the background work and want to know mm -hmm. as much as he could about it to mm. to give it yeah he'd give it everything wouldn't yeah. he, he would. we so were yeah. looking through the collection to seeing the little postcards and all the history and the notes for me looking through it and I know you said the same Liam it's so special and it's just so enlightening and inspiring in so yeah. many different different yeah. levels yeah but you, he would you've spent a lot of time passing this Piper Stone over, we would have, over the years. We would have. And God, I hate to say it, but we'd drive by chatting away and wouldn't even look at really? it What a special afternoon at the Piper Stone. Before we headed off, Liam O'Connor and I decided to play a tune in honour of Liam O'Flynn, a reel called The Humours of Carrigaholt. Jay and Liam's wife invited us for tea and to visit Liam's music room. We packed the cars and headed off, honoured to receive this invite. He'd have his chair here and he'd have his pipes here and he'd be using that. Um, and he'd kind of... Now there was a oh, there was a bigger incredible, system. Yeah. This postcard in keeping with the collection that we were looking at um, the last while. Says, the journey to improvement is the greatest pleasure of all, and happiness is a way to travel, not a destination. So true. I felt truly humbled to conclude my journey in Liam O'Flynn's music room, playing The Pleasures of Hope, a tune which Liam taught me many years ago at Napibriolan in Dublin. So special too to play the tune on Liam's B set of Illum pipes and seated in his chair, a chair he spent many hours playing music. I've been enriched and inspired by the legacy that Liam has left behind. The Liam O'Flynn collection will continue to be a source of inspiration for many other musicians for years to come. Dog Limo Flynn, Tubber Sever Kyol Duin, August Begdini, Ektarinth on Tubber Shen, Gujo.